In this problem, we're told a circular saw blade 0.2 meters in diameter starts from rest. In six seconds, it accelerates with constant angular acceleration to an angular velocity of 140 radians per second. Find the angular acceleration and the angle through which the blade is turned. So we're given a bunch of things here, so let's write them down. So what are we given? So we told, or we're told the saw blade has a diameter of 0.2 meters. So uh, diameter equals 0.2 meters. It's going to be starting from rest. So this thing's going to be rotating in a circle. So they tell us the angular, or the initial angular velocity, which is going to be zero, right? Because it starts from rest. And we usually put that in radians per second. So uh, the initial angular velocity is zero radians per second. And it's going to go from six, or it's going to travel for six seconds, and then it's going to accelerate to an angular velocity of 140 radians per second. So uh, the final angular velocity, or we can just call this uh, omega, right, is going to be equal to 140 radians per second. Right, so it goes from 0 to 140 in this interval, which is going to be t equals 6 seconds long. Right, So it's going to be 6 seconds, and it's going to accelerate from 0 to 140. So there's two things we're trying to find, the angular acceleration and the angle through which it turns. So we're trying to find uh, alpha here, angular acceleration, and we're trying to find theta, which is the angle it turns. So these two things are what we're going to be solving for. And so they first want us to find the angular acceleration, so let's start with that. So how do we want to do that? So you want to think about these just like normal, uh, normal kinematic equations, but with rotational variables, right? And so which equation should we use? So you guys should know this equation, v equals v sub zero plus a times t, but we can just do these with rotational. So omega equals omega zero plus alpha times t, right? And so keep, keep in mind what we're given. We're trying to solve for a. We're given uh, the angular velocity and the initial angular velocity, and we have the time, six seconds. So we should be able to solve for it, and that's what we're going to do. So in order to solve for this, we can just um, uh, just plug in, right? So uh, omega is just going to be 140 equals uh, the initial angular velocity, which is 0, plus a or alpha, which we don't know is what we're solving for, times t, which t is just 6. So it's really just 6 alpha, right? So we can divide by 6, and that's going to allow us to solve. So do 140 divided by 6, and that's going to give you the angular acceleration which is 23.333. And then the units are radians per second squared, right? Because notice 140 is radians per second, and then we're dividing by seconds. So it becomes radians per second squared. But yeah, so this is the first part, 23.33 radians per second squared. Now let's do the angle it turns. So now that we have this, uh, you can use a few different rotational kinematic equations. I'm going to choose this one, but you, there's another one you can use. But essentially, we know theta, right? Because think about in the normal one, delta x equals v sub 0 times t plus 1 half a t squared. But we're going to use theta, because theta is the distance we're traveling, uh, or the angle we're turning, right? Equals omega 0 times t plus 1 half alpha t squared. So yeah, this is the equation we're going to use to solve. Because notice what we're given. Uh, we have the time. We have uh, the acceleration the angular acceleration, and we have omega zero. So we can just solve for this, and that's what we're going to do. So let's just plug some stuff in. So omega zero is zero, so zero times anything is going to be zero, right? Zero times six is zero. So it's just going to be one half then times um, the angular acceleration, which we just solved for, so 23.333, and then we multiply by t squared. So that's going to be t is six, so six squared, right? Yeah, so six squared. Uh, you're going to do 36 times 23.333, uh, and then divide by 2, right? So just do 1 half times 23.333 times 6 squared. And when you do this, you're going to get 420. And so keep in mind the distance measurement or the angle measurement in these are radians, because this is in radians per second squared, right? Or not this. This is in seconds. This is in radians per second squared, right? So the second squared cancel. So it's just in radians. But yeah, so 420 radians, that's going to be uh, the angle through which the blade turns. And then the angular, angular acceleration is 23.333. Uh, but yeah, round this however you want. But these are going to be your answers. And uh, yeah, hopefully you found this useful.